Hello, and welcome back to Dungeons and Dreadmore. Um, why did I pick that up? I should have just made it Ludifus. Go. This very slight amount of inventory management turned a few things into Ludifus. That was pretty much all that was in between these episodes. Oop. Just bash it open. I don't have any lockpicks anymore. What type of sword was that? It's a regular one. The worst kind. Skull. Oh. Skull. Next time we get in a big fight, we better, we better engage plaid mode. There's some cheese. We're gonna have, actually, stuff to take the Ludifus guy to. Oh wait, that's the thing I want. Yes, I saw it on the map. Like I thought I might. Oh my god. It's a mushroom I didn't notice. Nope. Oh, we have a lot of Ludifisk, actually. We can take it back to the Ludifisk god. Boop. That isn't too bad. Oh my god, another Ludifisk god? So many Ludifisk god statues. The Diggles must worship him down here. Oh my god, Ludifisk. There we go. Can stop by the shop right quick. Sell all this stuff. Do still have the potion of healing I'm not using. Potion of gold I should probably drink at some point. Oh my god. Just get all this stuff out of here. I don't need this cheese. Fresh steak. Let's go. Why is it that chest is smashed? Was I here before? Possibly. Die door. This is actually great. My um suit up isn't really running out. I'm dodging so many hits. Oh, that tickle was giving me words of encouragement. Two bolts of squid. Those things are amazing. Those are better than any other bolt in the game, I think. At least that I've seen. I love me some bolts of squid. Just so tentacly. Another shop. A yellow, a crown of yellow, steel sword. Just some armor. Invisible shield. It's actually kind of cool. No, really. Wind up Douglas crossbow. What does mine give? Five crit. This gives different things. This gives sneakiness. So I'm sacrificing two crit chance for five extra damage. For four extra damage every hit. The crossbow comes handy when you need double your armor piercing punch. Has the crossbow crank. Huh. Should I use it? I mean, the five crit chance is nice. I just don't have anything to ever spend this stuff on. That's sad, I want to spend all my Zerk mids. Do I have to sell anything? Yeah. Oh yeah, I gotta hit back to the Eyeball Shrine. Complete that last quest. This Mushroom. I'm just gonna leave him there. He's not gonna attack me, I'm not gonna attack him. I'm like everyone else that I attacked. Um, <laughs> without provocation. Some of them even said nice things to me. Oh, darn it. Oh yeah, I can just teleport back up there when I need to. Let's take this thing. Oh, god, why can't... Just click it. Oh, I got a pole arm. Oh, that's a pretty good one. What does this get? 14-4. Okay. 12-5. Damage and trap, a trap site radius. And this one just gives an obscene amount of damage. So I want that one. So this together for damage is 18, and this one together for damage is 17. But it gives me two melee power. So that would mean it gives it actually equals 19, gives me five more block. It's three block. This one gives give one health. And one, whatever this is. Trap affinity. 
Hmm. I like that damage. And this ethereal resistance. Block chance. I think we give it a try. I'll try to keep this one, though. How about Kron gave us this one? We're not gonna get rid of it. Not Kron gave us, but he blessed it. Oh, we should have used a teleporter, I forgot. Oh my god, I've remembered. We have a bunch of stuff we can sell. Just a bunch of crappy stuff. We'll leave this up here for posterity. Oh, we'll leave this here for posterity. If that's what that means. So we'll drop all of our mushrooms to be picked up right after. Just need to use that laser wand. And we can teleport back. Ah, uh, the sound of Zorkmids. We'll super wait for the portal to be open again. And we'll pick up all this stuff. Awesome. Get out of here. Ugh, to jump over this. It's mushy, man. Oh, he's, he's after me now. Battle is unavoidable. Well, he's dead. And so is his friend. Engage. Engage. Open door. Oh god. I can handle these group of guys, no problem. I can actually... Oh my god, I can armor up and engage the sensible Swiss defense stance. That would be a lot of defense. I think that health regen is probably my favorite part of the armor up. Zodiac one. What did that accomplish? Was that a healing spell? I don't know, I'm taking all these. So I can eat them and throw them at people. Um. No. Um. Mom. It all looks like a chicken when I eat it. Blink Batty. And he's gone. Illusion cheese. Yeah. I'll engage the poison. Great cheese. Perfect. I almost wish that I could attack from a uh, diagonal in this game. That's actually a good thing I can't because I. That means enemies would be able to as well. Two more bolts of squid! Oh, we're ready for a monster zoo whenever there needs to be one. Krong, will you bless our new weapon? He's please! Amazing. I think. I don't know what I got out of that. I actually don't know. Ah, I'm sure it was something. I got experience for someone that just died randomly. The ring. Ooh. A little bit of auto saving there. Oh. Just jump over the rest of these. We will engage poison and suit up. What the? A blink baddie. I think I like teleported though. Or well, not teleported, like fire came out of him. Oh, there's some little Ludifus sconces here. Fishy sconce. Ludifus is made out of fish. Oh, that's a lot of blink baddies. I shoot some bolts at them. Critical hits. Critical hits. Critical hit. Broadhead bolt. Actually, those do a lot of damage. I'm gonna save these. We'll shoot some of these tiny plastic bolts at them. We take this fungus with us. Dude, if we ever, like, if we ever have something go wrong, we can just warp out. We can just, like, take some time to the transdimensional dodge or something and just eat our way out of the situation with, like, a million buffs. I hope that happens at some point. I could just super buff. And just, like, eat, drink all my potions and eat all my mushrooms all at once. Wait, we should read this. It. 
It's the bat, it flaps, it has teeth, it's, this one randomly teleports when the mood takes it. Okay. Tell trouble. Why did I not pick up more mushrooms? Honestly. Oh, yeah. I don't think drinking out of a well has ever been a good thing. Hello. Dark empowerment. We've become evil again. Door. Do door. Die. Yeah. I'm evil and covered in armor. Uh, yeah. And I think he shivved him. So many effects go off at once when I hit somebody. That doesn't even tell me all the things that are happening. Like, they all just get squished together. Some food? Uh, nothing good in the food. I guess we could take... Oh, a cheesy omelet. That will stack up. I don't really need anything else. We're already good on food. We want food that we can stack so it doesn't take up inventory space. Windy black velvet boots. I don't see why you can play a roguey character when I can play this character instead. And have a million dodge and a bunch of block. Just seems like the best of both worlds. I guess they don't interact well with each other. But I'm not really wearing a full plate set or anything. Like, I got the parachute pants that are just super light and agile. Steel sword. Yeah. So, wait, that might have been a potion of gold. Oh well. Engage. The poison. Yeah. Oh, we didn't. I didn't mean to do that. Ludafisk. Ha! Do do do. Come on. Oh, this blink baddie. Just blinking all over the place. Wait, I countered critical hit him. This isn't the end of the line, is it? Oh no, wait, there's still all this stuff over here. Alright, I was thinking we might be at the end of our rope here. Oh, that was a very convenient teleport. Oh, we'll take this. And do that. And that. Why is there alchemy ingredients you can drink? Honestly. It's not like you can eat an iron ingot and gain, like, bad benefits. Oh, the prince. That's good. A grunge ear? Those are all good things. I don't know what a grunge is, but their ears give me blad powers. Another auto save. While fighting some diggles. I don't need that. Why did I pick that up? Stop picking it up! Diggle, just die! Skull, skull. Picked up an ingot somewhere in here. I think I dropped it back on the ground. No, there, there it is. Wait. Cutlass. Alright, we're not messing anything over in this direction, so we'll take out this blink baddie. Oh, we accidentally closed the Ludafist cube. We need that open at all times. Mostly because it's a really small window, and it's nice to just have open. Wait, can I Ludafisk things without having the Ludafisk thing open? find out. Yeah. Turquoise. Okay, we cannot Ludafisk things if they're just if the Ludafisk statue is not open. No, the Roger Ludafisk cube. Tentacle wand. We'll use it on this guy. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Equip. Ah yeah. Oh, things that die with a tentacle wand explode into tentacles. 
Next time I get a monster, though, I gotta remember to use that before I use the hold of squid. Yeah. Oh, I'm not even suited up. Let's engage the suit up. Much better. Silver ring. All right. So we'll take this bit down. Oh my god, there was some lutefisk in that barbecue. It's as if someone was attempting to eat lutefisk. Like an idiot. You don't eat lutefisk. You just sacrifice it to the lutefisk god. These diggles are for defending this one pair with their life. It's like they worship this pair. You know what? Pair? How do I eat? Pair, let me just... Well, there goes that pair. I didn't even notice the door down here. Awesome. Every time I kick open a door, there's that little bit of anticipation that it's a monster zoo. Yeah. I think it is, we've gotten to this point. Oh, oh snap! Why is our experience like this? It probably after we level up, it'll fix itself. We could use an ancestral body part. What is this? Walk it off. Makes you stronger. Stabbed and make highly skilled in these activities. When you get hit, there's a chance for health, friendliness, and piercing resistance will increase temporarily. So you want. This is more elemental focused. That gives me. Resistance against other things. This one gives me more health, though. I think I'll work towards it, it only makes you stronger. What's this one? Oh, that just gives me flat a ton of stats. That's cool. I really wish I could trade out my shield skill, though. But I guess it just gives, is giving me passive block chance. Despite not being, like, not having a shield. I don't think I need invisibility. It's a carrot. Oh, invisibility could be useful for monster zoos, now that I think about it. Because if I open the door, I could just eat it, and then they won't see me anymore. I can walk away, and then shoot things from a distance. Okay. Your inventory is I'll just move this bed. I'm getting ever scared of... ever more terrified of every dungeon floor. Look at this smug face, though. This isn't actually a way to it. The next floor. There's one down here, though. Alright, let's continue down. Onto the new floor. Floor 6. Oh, this one's an ice floor. A Diggle Mage. Being forsaken its nasal heritage, this Diggle has instead focused on arcane pursuits. Better to dig with. We will shoot him because he has 16 HP. Oh, that did 15 damage. Because the fact he has 16 HP makes me think he's really threatening. A magic dragon? Oh, is he gonna shoot me? He doesn't appear to be shooting me. With at least anything harming. Oh, that's a pretty good bolt. I don't want to use that. That's a really good bolt. Um, we'll use this bone bolt. Skull! Skull! Like I just stepped on a trap. Yeah. I might do a fire person next, because I know that they can get, um, dragons as pets later in the game. Alright, first of all, we're sorting this and dropping all these weapons. All the stuff we're going to sell. Turquoise, we don't need that. We'll resort this, and then we'll drop all this food. All this extra food, at least. I really don't need much food. Oddly enough. I think we'll drop all of it, except for these omelets until I need more. That's probably a good idea. Oh, there's some more stuff I need to sell. That's cleared up some space. Remember when we started the game and we had no inventory problems at all? So we could pick up anything we wanted ever. Ice swear. Hiya. 
My god, it's another evil chest. I love evil chests. I really need to start checking my health, though. Yes. That evil chest gave me my mace last time. Evil chest? What do you have in you? Oh, it's a blobby. Holy crap. That blobby did a lot of damage. Let us engage the poison. We will take down this blobby with a wand of lasers. That did hardly anything. We'll shoot him with something a bit more deadly. Let's shoot him with something a lot more deadly. Um, let's drink this potion of stealing. So now I am super armored. And... Oh god, I'm not feeling good about this fight. <laughs> oh, he didn't come for me. Shoot him. Ha! Huh. Jump over here. Oh, we took him down. He dropped one silver ring. Thank you, Blobby. Alright. That chest of evil still wasn't bad. Like, the risk of getting another super awesome weapon was high enough. Cracks in the ice. Oh. Um, I don't know what those do, but I'm not gonna step on them anymore. I assume they break my mother's back. I don't need this. I'll just keep it for later. Engage the suiting up. Yeah. There we go. Do that. Oh, we close the Ludifisk cube. Now oh, we'll just pick up all this Ludifisk and then turn it into Ludifisk. That is how Ludifisk works. I feel like if you kick a thing in the middle. It has, like, a better chance of opening. Oh, look at all this stuff. Oh my god. Awesome. That shield's pretty good. I don't know if I want to sacrifice all my damage, though. So. Clockwork Bolt Thrower. Oh my god, that is a lot of Zork Mids. That is all of my Zork Mids. We'll sell that. These rings. 20 crossbow damage. But I'll follow the magical sneeze. Double bladed axes. Sword of Blork, son of Diggling. I saw that before. A dire halberd. Full guard class weapon. Sure, it looks awesome. Oh, that is a lot of minus to stats. That is not worth it at all. But this helmet, on the other hand. Whoa, let me look at this. Wow. Six absorption. So this one's got one. Could be some minor visual sight radius problems. It is said that Sir Albert Schutt once successfully ignored the devil and, on a separate but related occasion, ran away from death. It is unclear what his helmet had to do with any of this except this notable reduction in its his peripheral vision. His peripheral vision. That's pretty good. I like that. What is this? I lose some caddishness. But I gain some stubbornness. Some block chance. I don't know. I, I like the idea of it. I'm buying it. Auto save. I don't know. This doesn't seem that bad. Yeah, I can just see across stuff anyway. I have a good enough sight radius. I can see things just fine. We might keep the vampire hats, hunter's hat, though. Just in case. That was a good use of Zorkmans, though. Can I give him other things to enchant? I think so. Will you, you like my crossbow? Oh, uh, displeased with me. I lost some counterattack chance. No! He doesn't like my crossbow. Um, let's throw one of these at them. 
Oh, let's not be in it, though. Hiya. Oh god, I'm taking some damage. I'm eating this. So, let's engage the bolting. Shoot the squiddy before you can hit me. There we go. It makes the same sound as a diggle. A lot of things make diggle noises. Thus, a lot of things just sound like diggles. Engage both of these. And what's nice is I'll have the cooldown up by the time I get to something else. Yeah, you can see on this map, this dungeon is getting smaller and smaller every single floor we go down. I never noticed it before. Or should I say before? Ha! Huh. There's something in the fountain. I put an iron ring in my bag. It has some blocking. Copper bolts. Ludifus. Oxite. Oh, I got that clockwork gra grappling bolt recipe. I don't know if these recipes stay with you forever. They probably don't. If they stayed for my whole account, I could eventually make something to craft. New bolt. It's a product of a misguiding marketing campaign. New bolt failed spectacularly to capture the urban demographic and was so dumped into hinterland markets. Ludifus. Bolts is not good enough to stay in my inventory. That's 101 Ludifisk, though. Oh my god, a worm scale shield. I'll take it. It has five block on it. Oh, some lockpicks. I need those. Oh, I didn't even see what that was. Oh, just a regular Warhammer. Oh, wizard. <laughs> Look at him, he's so adorable. I, don't, I kinda don't want to kill him. But I will. Because Diggles hate me and I hate Diggles. This is a regular halberd. No, don't Ludifist that. That's actually worth money. I don't know where the Diggle wizard went. He's adorable though. There he is. I like how he has like an old style like wizard thing. Oh no, he tried to melee me. Oh my god. Let's, um, let's back out and toss another one of these noxious brimstones. They seem to just want to sit there and take it, so... I mean, that's good. Yeah. From hell's heart I stab at thee. Interesting phrase coming from a sea creature. Just two tinkerers that's right next to each other. That's helpful. Does this? Hmm. It's all minuses. This does give a bit of extra damage. Uh, I think this one's better though. Magic sandals. I don't need those. But I will. I do need this. Yeah. Better. Tickle mage. Engage this bolt. Oh, it hit that chest, I think. Diggle Mage. Diggle Mage. There you go. Dwarven Gut Rot. No thank you. I do like how alcohol just makes you, like, yeah, be a better wizard. Have these people ever heard of drinking <laughs> magic under the influence? That's not something we want to teach kids. Because as we all know, video games teach you how to do things no matter what. And if you do things in a video game, that means you'll do it in real life. Like me, after playing this video game, I just... You know, I've killed so many diggles in real life. That's a good thing, because this game told me to do so. Oh god, we are running pretty big on time. Um, whoop. We'll just take all these dudes out. I didn't realize we were running on so long. Yeah. Ludifisk. Ludifisk. Alright. So, that'll be it for this episode of Dungeons and Dreadmore. This one actually went on really long, and I don't know if people like that. Either way, thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.